In 2015, we left the rat race and went to the farm. We bought a 100-year-old farmhouse and nine acres. After three years of extensive renovations, we can finally call ourselves College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Today, we're planting squash and cucumbers. Now in this video, I hope to, I'm going to show you how to plant, how we plant squash and cucumbers. Uh, you want to plant cucumbers and squash in a raised hill, but the truth is you could probably do it without planting them in a raised hill, but a raised hill lets you know exactly where they're at, and sometimes it takes them a little while to come up, and you need to keep those weeds down until they do come up. So we're in the kitchen garden today. And we're going to plant squash and onion, or squash and cucumbers. And the squash that we plant is what we get locally for really cheap, uh, 50 cents a packet at the dollar store. Uh, it's just a dark green zucchini, and then uh, a market moor cucumber. I like to get straight eights if I can, but these market moors are good too. And then just a uh, uh, straight neck squash. So we've spent all of a dollar to have squash all summer. The way I do it is I make uh, three hills of crook neck, three hills of zucchini, and then three hills of cucumbers. And in about three weeks, I'll come back and do three hills of crook neck, three hills of zucchini, and three hills of cucumbers. And that'll keep us in zucchini and crookneck squash all summer long. I may come back in the late summer. These take about 55 days. So I may come back in the late summer and uh, fix another set. Okay, let's get at this. One thing that they don't never tell you is why you should plant your squash in a certain way. Now I like to cultivate my squash and stuff with a, with a tractor and that means that I need to leave enough room for the tractor to get past the other, t uh, the other row and then work on this row. So I'm going to scoot over here like this and make a hill. Now the hill doesn't have to be huge, it just needs to be sufficient. to have three or four seeds. Now I'll take doing the crook neck squash first. I'll take three or four seeds. Put five just for good measure. I've got five seeds there. I take the back of the hoe and just press them into the ground and then lightly just bring some dirt over them. And that's it, that hill's planted. And then I move on to the next. I'll get a little closer for you to see this next one. Okay, I need to make a hill. Now one thing you do want to do, if you want to cultivate these with a tractor, you need to make these hills in as straight a row as you can and don't get messed up because if you make them in a zigzag it's going to make it hard to cultivate them with your tractor. So now there's another hill. Let me make sure you can see that good. Now once you've got your hill done and again remember you've got to keep it straight or else you can't cultivate it with your tractor. I'm going to drop four or five seeds, probably one, two, three, four, and I'll probably drop one more. <clears throat> and then just take the tip of my hoe. That one's in the dirt a little. Push them in about an inch, inch and a half. And that's it, you plant a squash. Uh, you can do that with cucumbers, with squash, and with zucchini. And I also do it with watermelons and, and uh, uh, 
mushmelons, or, or you all call them cantaloupes. So, all right. Okay, nine hills of uh, squash uh, and cucumbers. It'll take between seven and 14 days from to germinate and probably a day or two longer to poke up out of the ground. So I'll keep an eye on them uh, and make sure that we keep the weeds out of them. The other weeds, it'll take them a while to germinate too. So, but I may wind up running the tractor through here before these ever germinate. So that's how you plant squash and cucumbers. I'd like to thank you for visiting with us at College Hill Farm today. I hope you found our videos entertaining and, and or informative. Uh, if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment on both Facebook and YouTube. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.